Yeah, well, hopefully it's just short term. You know, we're um, it was after a start. He had a his shoulder was a little bit sore. It had pre- been getting better this last few days, and so we were you know kind of hopeful, but also a little bit concerned about being able to make the start tomorrow. Um, and had him go out, come out and throw a little bit today. We just feel like the best thing, right thing to do right now is to is to give him a little bit of extra time with, with the shoulder. We're optimistic that he's going to be able to to uh, not miss much time after the IL, if, if any. And uh, but yeah, it's a big loss. He's pitched great for us, and, and um, but hopefully we'll have him in September. I know how you're why you're going to keep pushing on, but part of you have to be thinking, here we go again, right? It's been yeah, we've had our share. There's no doubt. Um, you, know, you hate to you hate to hate to lose pitching right now, and uh, Zach Zach's been everything that has to more uh, since we've gotten him in the trade deadline, and uh, I know he's really disappointed. Also, he was hoping to make that start tomorrow, uh, but we feel like he's gonna just give him a little bit of time off, and, and he'll be back out there for us. Who's gonna start tomorrow? Then yeah, we're not. I haven't, we haven't decided yet. Honestly, um, we're kind of waiting for this thing to happen this afternoon, and then we're. We're in the midst of talking about it right now. You guys have eight pitchers on the injured list right now. I mean, after having to replace and replace and replace guys, do you feel like that is just such a major factor for why you've had to battle some inconsistencies here in the second half? Yeah, I mean, we've lost you know, a lot of guys that have, you know, could really help. And um, it's, but, you know, this is this is a little bit part of it. We got pretty fortunate the last couple of years. And this year we're, we've, you know, we're, we're, getting hit with the injury bug a little bit and um, it happens and so we got to keep going I mean the, the, the games the games aren't going to stop uh, and wait for guys uh, we have to have guys step up and and um, you know other teams have, are having similar issues that we're having also so uh, you know hopefully we can get these guys back healthy in September and, and or some or a few of them at least and and uh, keep going Is With all of that being said, eight pitchers, a couple of position players from top to bottom, what does that say about the group of people that you have lined up that you're still right in the thick of things? Yeah, I know. There's, um, you know, we've, it's, it's it's been difficult losing guys here and there along the way, and and our, our guys have continued to play hard. We're not, it's been tough putting together, uh, you know, consistent streaks or, you know, we haven't won as many series as we want to, but, but. You know, it's we have the talent to be able to do that, and we just got to continue to play. He did look really good his last time out. Um, what have you liked about what he's been doing in his more recent appearances with you guys? Well, the start against us, you know, the start he had for us last time, that was uh, you know, the, the command was so much better, and the aggressiveness in the strike zone with all of his pitches was you didn't see the you didn't see the uh, the misses wide of the strike zone and. He was really, really aggressive and attacked guys, and and uh, that was that was something I know that he, when he, we sent him down the last time, that that was he was gonna you know really focus on, and and he came up and did that. It was he was outstanding. He told us that he's had kind of a complete mindset shift from when he first got called up in June to last time getting called up. Have you noticed kind of a shift in the way he's been handling himself and kind of being able to handle major league life as well? Uh, not really. I just you notice that his uh, on the mound demeanor is maybe a little bit different. He's got. I think he showed a lot of confidence at last start. I think the start against New York. Uh, you know, even though he gave up the homer to Judge, and maybe the line wasn't as good. I thought his stuff was really good that night, and maybe that gave him some confidence to, to when he came back to to be able to to pitch more aggressively in the strike zone. Is Eflin going to have to go through any extra imaging or testing or anything? Or I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So, like, what's the evaluation process going to be like for like when he's going to be ready? Just like if, when he stops feeling sore when inflammation goes down. Yeah. Yeah. Brendan, as you said, you're not alone in this in this boat with missing a lot of guys. Can you put your finger on why there's such, such a spate of pitcher injuries that seem to be increasing every year? I think there's a lot of reasons for it. A lot of, um, unfortunately, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> Not uh, you know I've, I've we have there's certain theories and you can, there's a lot of things but if to put my finger on one thing I don't I don't think so um, you know it is unfortunate there is a lot of a lot of pitching injuries around the league and, and we've had our share this year and uh, you know it's you know hopefully it turns around a little bit. 
the bullpen game a possibility for tomorrow? Everything's in play for tomorrow. I'm not really sure at this point. Last year you said kind of at the end of the season nobody gave you guys a chance and like expectations were low. Now obviously they're super high. Everyone's expecting you to go to the Fall Classic. How do you think your guys have adapted to that change in expectation and how have they kind of refrained from maybe pressing and like not letting it get too big? Yeah, no, I think that, you know, we're 20 games over 500 right now. Um, we got off to a good start. We've had, a, we've had, we've just been inconsistent the last couple months. I think injuries have played a big part of that. Still got a month and a half to go. Um, you know, we, there's definitely areas that we can improve on and we can get back to how we were playing the first couple months. Pitching's a big part of that. Back in the bullpen, bullpen use, bullpen, the way they, you know, getting guys out late in the game, that's, that's going to be important. Um, so all those things are going to come into play these next six weeks. I don't think our guys have changed at all since last year or pressing any. I just think that it's just been in, I think the injuries um, have, you know, injuries and, you know, we're not real veteran like either. We're, we're pretty young still and you, most young players kind of go through ups and downs and, and um, I, you know, hopefully we can finish the season strong. Um, Jordan Westbrook talked earlier about getting back into baseball activities, but he didn't want to put a timeline on coming back. Um, just like, what's your sense of his progress? Do you have, do you have a, any sort of timeline? Still got a cast on his hand, so he's got to be re-x-rayed and then... And then it's a progression from there if if, uh, they, if, they, if it's healed. Did, did you have any reaction to the Alvarez celebration with the home run yesterday? Or did you think it was just like all the top? Or like, what was, did you have a reaction to it? I didn't have a reaction to it. I, I got my. I got up and went in the, went in the clubhouse. No. I mean, just. Guys are celebrating now more than ever before. And so our guys celebrate too. I didn't think it was any. I saw it on. I was watching the replay of the game or rewatch the game. I, did, I didn't notice that it was anything uh, in our face or showing us up in any way. Just I was hit a got a big hit. You know, congratulations. He, it was a it was a got to a 3-0, 98 mile hour fastball 3-0 and, and beat us.